I remember it was 20, 2012, and uh, there was a there was a an advert in a local daily about cooperative bank auctioning uh, a land in Mokuru, uh, where, where in that land there's a school called Mendeleo Primary School, then there are a few residential homes there. So uh, about, about 500 families there in a school. So they, we, saw, we saw the news, the, the, the advert, and because of that, because uh, it's a local daily, so everyone can be able to see in the in the, in the Mukuru. They also some of the people from Mukuru came to the office because they knew it, Mungano does all this, all the advocacy, all that stuff. So so when you got when you got uh, the when they came here, uh, we, we decided we just have a meeting with the school and the parents. So we told the school go and mobilize all the all the all the parents and the students. We'll have a meeting to know what you can do as a group. So they went. So this, this is the first time now I'm in front of such a big gathering. About 700 students and their parents. So it's more than a thousand people. So, and so we are trying to discuss what we are going to do. And, and also the community people also came in. So we have a very big crowd. So the community came in, started discussing what will you do? Well, we have to stop this because it will affect the, all these children, it will affect the people here. So, you can't allow this to happen. So that was the first time I was given an opportunity to, to speak in front of <laughs> a proper crowd. So it was, I was shaky. <laughs> I've never been in front of so many people. They had said the exact dates for the, for the auction. And it was happening in, in the CBD, Nairobi CBD. So we said we are going to, to storm in during the auction. So we organized a demo, the community said we'll come, we so we marched from Mokuru to, to town as we are marching here. You know, it's, the, all these things are all new to me. As we are marching, you know, people are dancing, they are vuvuzelas, people are blowing them, people are, are sleeping on the, on the road. We, are, we, had, we, we had brought the traffic to a standstill. So people are doing all these fun things as we are going to town. You know, it was, it was fun, but also serious, because we also knew what we are going to do. Very peaceful. So we walked, we walked, we walked. The police came, they asked, what are you doing? We told them the, what the demonstration was all about and we are going to town. So they said, okay, as long as you are peaceful, we are going to give you an escort. So they escorted us, they didn't harass us or anything. So we went to, to, the, to the house, Shankada's house in, in, in town, it's near Nairobi cinema, the old Nairobi cinema. When we arrived there, because we, we wanted to enter, the, it was happening, I think, in some floor. So when we arrived there, immediately we came because we were very. It was a it was a large group, so we entered there. They, all of them, they closed the door. We they, we couldn't enter, so we just sat there outside, then singing, dancing, saying with no one would sell us, no one would auction us. The auction must stop. You have a right to a house. You have a right to school. Our kids are you know all those things, and women are so passionate about this. They refused to open because we knew the. The the at the Shankadas, the auctioneer was doing on behalf was doing all that on behalf of cooperative bank. So he decided just to go to now to cooperative bank. Uh, now the headquarter, just a, a few blocks away. So <laughs> so we went there. Now cooperative bank also brought it to a standstill. So when we went there, they were so shocked. All these people are they from? We said we are from Mukuru. They didn't allow us to enter because you know it was during a working day. And all these things are, are happening during the, uh, banking stuff are happening. There are a lot of clients inside. So we brought everything to a stance. No one could enter, no one could leave. So, you know, they, they started saying we, we need two representatives to come and talk to us, tell us what the situation is all about. But we said no. We want everyone to enter. We want everyone, all the management to come down and talk to us. We don't want to go there. So it was. We tried to negotiate with them. Finally, they wrote a letter. They came down with their lawyer, you know, and said, uh, we have stopped uh, the eviction. Nothing will happen. Uh, we won't sell. We won't auction the land. 
and that's how we are able to save a school in some 500 houses. Uh, so that was the power of Mungano.